Hey guys, my name is Kenneth Bell. I'm from KB Holdings Development. I'm a real estate developer. I like to generate content on um, real estate development, but I like to come from the, the side of the beginner, the most basic level, the simplest form. I remember when I started on my journey, there was not a lot of information on real estate development. I did not know what to do. It was kind of confusing out there where to start. So I like to generate content for people that are going to be down, be going down that path. So if you like this content, please press the like button and also subscribe so you can see more videos. Also drop a comment if you have a, an idea or some, some content that you'd like me to do a video on. Uh, so let's get started. So I wanna to talk to you today about you rehabbers and flippers out there. You as a rehabber or a flipper may be a lot closer to real estate development than you think you are. A lot of the skills translate from one side to the other. So let's talk a little bit about that. So first and foremost, as a rehabber or a flipper, what you do is you find a property at home, a single family or multifamily home, that you can get at a good price that is in need of some repair. You go in, make the repairs and renovations, make it better, and you sell it for a profit. As a real estate developer, what I do instead is I'm looking for a piece of land that has the ability to be improved and or build uh, one or more structures on the land and then I sell that for a profit. So we both are doing the construction phase. So a lot of those skills kind of translate to both disciplines. So for instance, if you're a flipper, you're used to dealing with building contractors and subcontractors. It may be on the renovation side instead of the new construction side, but those same contractors that can do renovations, a lot of them can also do new construction. Also from your evaluation side, you're used to looking for properties that are undervalued, looking at what it costs to do the repairs, and then being able to list those properties and sell them for a profit. You do the same thing with real estate development. You find a piece of land that may be underutilized or whatever, then you, instead of rehabbing a property, you build possibly a new structure on the property, or sometimes what you can do is just take the, the piece of land, improve it, and sell the land by itself. So those skills are kind of transferable between the two of those. If you are a real estate flipper or rehabber, you're very, very close to what the skills that it takes to become a real estate developer. You will have to learn um, some things about zoning and a few other things, but other than that, skills are very, very similar. If you want to learn more about the possibility of becoming a real estate developer, keep following me and watching my content. We do coursework and we have a class that specifically does that, moves you towards being a real estate developer. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, smash the like button, uh, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thanks.